What's up? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Neem here. So, here's what happened. Okay. Uh, by the way, I went to the mall today with my parents. I got some new jeans. Uh, it's a couple new shirts, so I'm happy about that. Um, here's the deal. Okay. Uh, I use DuckDuckGo, right? Most people I know use DuckDuckGo, I'm pretty sure. Well, mo most people I'm like buddies with, right? Because, you know, I usually, you know, convince them it's not too different from Google. And uh, it's way more privacy respect than Google, right? Uh, DuckDuckGo is just better than Google in like every way, right? Uh, but here's the thing. Google gives data to Microsoft. Uh, they get data from Bing. And um, I think for you to be able to use the Bing search results, you have to, you have to give data to Microsoft. And, uh, you know... Of course, DuckDuckGo still way more private than Google, and uh, personally, I'd much, I'd much rather if I had to choose two companies getting my data. I, I guess I would choose Microsoft rather than Google, but that's still not good, right? And so I try to use this search engine called uh, Cirx for a while. And uh, the cool thing about Cirx is that it's actually hosted on your computer, uh, and it just grabs data anonymously from all these different search engines. So it's actually a search engine aggregator, and it gets all this information and it just puts it onto your screen, and it's self-hosted, right? And there are no servers that can be like stealing your data, right? Uh, but the problem with Cirque's NG is, uh, you know, if you look at my YouTube thumbnails, all of them, all of the images and stuff in them are just from, like, search engines, right? I, I need to search up little things so I can put them in my thumbnails, right? Uh, and I have to do this every single day. And it sucks because um, on Cirque's, you can't search by transparency. On DuckDuckGo, on Google, on, on Bing, I'm sure, on uh, Brave Search, you can do all these things and you can sort all of the images by what you want. You can sort, oh, I only want like gray images that are transparent, that are larger than like 2000 pixels, right? And that's very useful, you know? Uh, but Cirque doesn't have any of that. I think you can search by, in images by very few things and that sucks. So I couldn't use Cirque. I tried Cirque's NG, uh, but that was also bad, even though it was way better than Cirque's. I think it's called Cirque, not Cirque's. Um, anyway, uh, I realized you know, it's probably better for me to use Cirx like most of the time and just, you know, open up DuckDuckGo when I need to do something for my thumbnail. Uh, and while it does suck, um, you know, it's definitely better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah. For breakfast, um, we actually went to the Five Guys, which is the first time we ever went to Five Guys. Um, here's an interesting fact about Five Guys. Uh, they actually cook their food in peanut oil. Uh, but here's an interesting fact about my, um, my peanut allergy and peanut allergies in general is that um, if the peanut oil that something is fried in is very highly refined, it actually lacks the proteins that people with peanut allergies are allergic to. So I was fine eating Five Guys. Um, and it was actually the first time I had Five Guys that I remember. Um, and you know, frankly, it's probably like my favorite burger place. Very good, uh, pretty expensive. Um, definitely more expensive than In-N-Out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I think when it comes to like bang for buck, In-N-Out is definitely better. But uh, when it comes to just pure flavor, I think Five Guys is probably my favorite. Um, and last time I was there, I actually got really sick because they used to have just buckets and buckets of peanuts all over the floor. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that's like illegal in Washington now. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure it should be. There are a lot of people with peanut allergies. But, um, yeah, being around peanuts for that long and having to eat inside, uh, you know, it definitely wasn't that great. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to get a Cirex NG instance running on Docker now. I used to just run it through like an SH script on like my on like my, uh, my home user. And that was, that was crazy. I don't know why I did that. Um, and I had to turn it on every time I turn on my computer, which to be fair, isn't that often. I always just keep it on. But um, yeah, now it should be working. Don't use DuckDuckGo. It gives data to Microsoft, but also there's really no better search engine you can use uh, unless you do it on Cirx. Uh, you know, may, maybe I'll give my buddies a Cirx instance they can use uh, that's hosted on my computer or something, but you know, we'll see, right? Uh, yeah, all right, see you dude.